Hey guys, I'm going to back here for another video. Guys, today we're taking a look at the Sunday night football slate, showdown slate between the Cowboys and the Giants. Now, there's a lot of players I like on this slate. So this is my first look. We do a more detailed, as always, you know, yes, no, and maybe breaking down every single player in the slate in a future video. But starting off right away, ooh, this captain spot, the chalkiest players for this captain spot, obviously, is Pollard and Barkley. Then it's going to be Dak. Then it's going to be CeeDee Lamb. Those are the most chalkiest plays going into this game. Obviously, Darren Waller appears to be truly questionable for Sunday night. Uh, so keep an eye out on him. If he is truly questionable for this game, especially because he's a newer player to this team, I could see him getting limited snaps and limited reps. So I would probably try to avoid him at 12,600 at the captain spot. I don't like 8,400 at the flex spot. I'm not against if he's a hundred. If he becomes okay to play, I might be okay with him in this game. All right, so I'm going to start off right away. I'll be honest with you. Cause, okay, so the Cowboys just got CeeDee Lamb. They have CeeDee Lamb. They just got Brandon Cooks, right? Brand new acquisition this offseason. They also got Stephon Gilmore. That's not the point. They got Brandon Cooks. So now number one receiver is obviously CeeDee Lamb. Number two is Brandon Cooks. Because Gallup has shown he can't be a number two receiver. He's a number three at best. But I don't like the Giants' defense in this game. I think the Cowboys are going to be able to move the ball against them. I might start this off with a crazy idea, guys. Michael Gallup here at the third receiver spot. But if the Giants try to focus on Cooks and focus on Pollard and focus on CeeDee Lamb, they lost their tight end this offseason. The Cowboys did. So I kind of like this idea. I kind of like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with Gallup at the captain spot. Of course, let's just be able to get some other options that we want in here. So, for example, Tony Pollard. We can get Saquon Barkley in here. Um, we could, even if you chalky is a chalkiness, just get CD Lamb in there. But I'll be honest with you, if we do this, especially how we have this lineup set so far, we're going to have to get away from that chalk as much as humanly possible. Um... This guy does interest me a lot. Just because the Giants receiving core is kind of like desolate. So he's going to get targets in this game. He is the fourth receiver, but I think he... No, he's the third receiver. But I think he could still do really good in this game. I might take a shot on him here. That's going to help us diversify this lineup. Especially with how chalky these three are. It's going to be hard to diversify your lineup with a lot of people because... A lot of people are going to just bank on those three and kind of go, you know, see what they can do there. Um, I'm not really interested in stacking up more Giants. The only Giants I really like would be Saquon and then a one-off play. Like Hyatt here, but could do any Giant in all honesty. Um, the kicker does interest me. Cause that is going to be guaranteed points and diversify my lineup here. Deuce Vaughn. He's the third string running back. No. Is Deuce Vaughn the backup now? Forgot because Deke went to the Patriots. Cowboys depth chart. Where is Deuce Vaughn listed as? Because they do love him. He's the third string. He's behind Rico Dowdle. Okay. So he's the third string running back. At 3,000, he's way too much. I love how Daddle was way less than him. That's because a lot of people know about Deuce Vaughn. And they think that a lot more people go for him. And because of that, they have him as that. I wouldn't do it because I do the backup. I mean, I have the starter. I'm not going to put the backup there. Honestly, I might finish it off with a kicker. I know that's not the sexiest lineup of all time, but it's again, it's just this is just my first look, guys. We're gonna change it up a lot. All right, I'm gonna get off Michael Gallup at the captain spot, and I might go somewhere else. Let's see what we can go elsewhere. Um, let's go with Brandon Cooks, okay? 
We're going to have power in that lineup. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make the narrative that this is going to be a Cowboys blowout. Right? So this obviously would be a Cowboys blowout. It's going to be, it would be difficult for Dak not to get it. And uh, get like the, we we'll need to be the captain in this spot. Because of the fact that all these receivers are going off. But I think we should be okay. Um... I do want garbage time though, so give me garbage time for the Giants here. And that's why I'm going to take someone like Hyatt, and I'm going to take someone like. I don't really love Sterling Shepard, I'll be honest with you. I might go Sterling Shepard though. So this is kind of how I'm feeling. If I am going to make the narrative that it's going to be a blowout, garbage time should help us out a lot here. And again, we're not, you know, we don't need Daniel Jones because garbage time, he's not going to put up crazy enough points to, you know, make him needs to be in my lineup, right? But again, I don't know if I love this lineup because it's so stacked around Dak. I feel like if you're going to do this type of lineup, you're going to want Dak Prescott as your captain. Because if Dak throws touchdowns to Pollard, obviously Pollard can get rushing touchdowns. But if he throws touchdowns to Pollard, Cooks, and Lamb, enough for you know him to actually have, like, they all have a good day, then that means then Dak needs to be the captain. Because that means he's going to have, what, two touchdowns, three, four? Yeah, no. You need to at least then have Dak at the captain spot. I don't really love him at the captain spot this week. I've always said this about quarterbacks who aren't that mobile. Is that if they're not that mobile, I don't really love him at the captain spot. I think they're just way over chalky and they're just not going to pay off the price tag. So, for example, if we did get to this, let's say we did get to um, what's called kind of like a stack like this, right? But then I need to find a receiver for Dak here. So I go CD Lamb. Then we could go cheap and just kind of go for Hell Mary plays at the end here. Um, it goes somewhere like Deuce Vaughn. And then... Actually, I can't. Because I don't have any left then. Yeah, I can't go with that. Ugh, I also wouldn't go Deuce Vaughn. But if I go Deuce Vaughn, I'm not going Tony Pollard. I, I don't want to go with both those guys in the same lineup here. Maybe like Sterling Shepard and then Shoemaker. I think Shoemaker could get some snaps in this game. Something like that. And again, like I said, that is, you know, the situation there is that Dak's going to spread the ball out between Shoemaker, Pollard, and Bark. Oh, sorry, not Barkley. And C.D. Lamb getting down the field. I don't know. I don't really love, love, love that, though. We're going to really look into this the next couple of days, guys. Because we're going to home in on the best lineup possible. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. If you have not done so already, make sure to like and subscribe button down below. All your DFS content in one place. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.